Austin, uh, so this is, uh, weight has been an issue that has been with you pretty much as, as long as you can remember. It, it's been a life uh, struggle ever since uh, I can remember. Uh, from when I was three years old all the way up to elementary school and uh, it really the the hardest part was uh, going into middle school uh, I think that's when I really had my breakthrough whenever uh, I knew I had to do something but you've really never known life uh, other than now um, where you weren't significantly overweight it, it, uh, before to compare to where I am now I'm a completely different person I've went from uh, a shy and backward uh, kid to a more confident, uh, proud young man, I like to say, because it is, uh, I I've never known anything other than being obese, struggling with the weight, struggling to uh, maintain uh, with my peers exercise, uh, str struggling to uh, play sports and stuff like that. So it's been um, a, a huge struggle. Yeah, uh, a lot of heartache growing up uh, with right. obesity. It, it's not easy growing up uh, obese. Uh, I hate to say it, but you know, we live in a society where uh, if, you're not too, if you're not skinny enough, you're going to be criticized. If you're overweight, you're going to be criticized. If you're too short, you're going to be criticized. If you're too tall, you're going to be uh, criticized. And I hate to say it, but kids can be cruel nowadays. And they really don't know what it's like waking up every morning and uh, just struggling to do the basic gym routine. Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't wish uh, anyone to be overweight because it's truly a struggle every day. Yeah. And, and so much that you became a homeschool. Right. Uh, around middle school, uh, it, that's really when I had my breakthrough. Um, I, I realized I was being picked on a lot more I was being teased every day, uh, called horrible names that uh, uh, I, uh, television would not allow me to say. Uh, and, you know, originally I thought, well, you know what, just suck it up. It, it'll be better. Uh, eventually things will calm down. Well, things became worse and worse. Uh, playing sports in uh, middle school, that became uh, more of a regular thing. I couldn't keep up. Uh, I felt like... Uh, I was unwanted on the team. A lot of times, uh, whenever it came to picking teams, uh, the other team that uh, I was the last one, the other team that uh, the team that I had, uh, they griped and fussed that I was actually on their team because I wasn't able to uh, be as fast as someone else. I wasn't able to run as fast. I wasn't able. Uh, I would get tired. I would have to stop. I would have to take a breath. And it, w it really made me, uh, I struggled to be like my peers, like my friends. And I, I tried my hardest, and sometimes, you know, I get the heart beat up and I start having chest pains and stuff. And I just decided, you know, it would be best to leave the stress behind and become homeschooled. And this was what, about when you were 13, 14? 13, I'd say about 13. Mm -hmm. um, and is that about the same time you started seeing Dr. Bales? Or yes. I haven't really shared this story with anyone before, but whenever, right before I saw Dr. Bale, I hated seeing doctors. I absolutely cried stepping on the scales. It was a fear of mine. And one night I was in bed and I had this dream that um, I was having a heart attack. And um, I woke up and I couldn't breathe. And I kept that to myself for the longest time I knew I had to do something. I had to make the change. I had to say goodbye to the old Austin and say hello to the new lifestyle and become healthier. And I knew I had to overcome my fear and accept reality for what it is and take the bull by the horns and make a lifestyle change. Wow. Wow. Um, and so you saw Dr. Bales, and, and what did he recommend? Well, I, whenever I went and saw Dr. Bales, immediately I just felt this uh, sense of careness, uh, that they really cared. Uh, he walked in, it was like a senior best friend uh, for a doctor. Uh, he came in and he uh, recommended a, a low-carb diet, uh, which cons for me consists of 30 carbs a day. Um, and then that was basically means cutting out the breads, the flour, the sugar, uh, things like that. Of course, for me, that was kind of a sign of relief because if you offered me a Snickers bar or a steak, I would take the steak over the Snickers bar any day. Yeah. Um, 
and so is is that you you started it about a year and a half two years ago i started it about a year and a half ago and the first couple months i was doing terrific i actually lost 39 pounds in the i believe first three months so um it took some will it took some getting used to but immediately as i started seeing the results it felt great mm -hmm. and it wasn't that difficult for you really because you you liked those foods yeah better. it was it, it was really you have to be creative with it uh and whenever you become creative with it you can find brilliant things that you don't feel like you're on a diet you go and you have a meal you have dinner and there are days I forget I'm on a diet because I'm just so used to it and it's so easy to follow. And before I saw Dr. Bales, I went to another doctor and, uh, you know, God bless her heart. She uh, recommended me doing this diet that uh, involved a whole booklet series and it changed week to week. And I, and I told my mom, Mom, I can't follow that. I'm the type of person, I like something simple, I like something I can follow and I can stay, uh, that I can follow very easily. Something that, you know, is going to be uh, easy for me to follow because it's something I have to do. Um, and you, uh, understanding there is some controversy over the, uh, the low-carb diet for, for kids. I mean, some doctors don't recommend it. Right. They, they recommend the... Uh, um, you know the other things where you know, the five food groups and you know balanced diet and that sort of thing. Um, what 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 do you say about that? I mean, is has your health improved? Has it uh, has it gotten worse being uh, on this low carb diet? From the health standpoint, I was whenever I before I started the low carb diet, uh, I was a, basically a ticking time bomb. I hate to say that. Um, the the thing where uh, we have other diets, I think really you have to figure out what causes your weight, um, you to gain weight. For, I think it's different in every situation. Uh, for me, and I know many teenagers out there, it's the carbohydrates. You don't eat that much and uh, you still gain weight and you always wonder, why am I gaining this weight? And uh, it, I think it was the cause there is the low, car I mean it's the uh, high carbohydrate intake. So. Um, what about your blood pressure now? Uh, before, uh, I was severely high. I mean, it was so high, in fact, one time I went into the doctor and they couldn't really read it on the scales. They wanted to admit me right then and there to the hospital almost. And finally it came down a little bit. Uh, they were able to get it down to a stage where they can finally read it. And uh, they were questioning whether to let me go home that day or not. Uh, ever ever since I've started seeing Dr. Bales, it has dropped significantly. I still have some of an issue with high blood pressure, but it's much more controllable now that I'm on the low-carb diet. What about cholesterol levels? Uh, well, cholesterol and stuff uh, is normal with me. Actually, whenever I first saw Dr. Bales, uh, I was borderline uh, diabetic. And I come from a long line of, di uh, of family from diabetes and stuff. And uh, if I really... Uh, didn't make that change right then and there. I would probably be sitting here today 400 pounds and a type 1 or type 2 diabetic. Um, so at your highest weight, what were you? I was 286 pounds at my highest weight. And what are you now? Uh, 100, around 190 pounds. Wow. So that's what, 96 pounds? Around 96 pounds, yes. Wow. Wow. And that's the size of a a person in some cases so that's pretty scary but uh, it's re very rewarding uh, you know uh, Dr. Bales has a book out and one of the uh, other patients that he saw uh, success stories uh, they said that it tastes good I mean nothing tastes as good as being thin that explains it right then and there uh, and what's your height you know uh, f almost 5'8 I think whenever they done that I think it was like a quarter of an inch from being 5'8 okay all right um, and you, you say you, you're, you're not quite at your goal yet? I'm not quite at my goal yet. I'd like to lose about another 20 more pounds to get down to around 170. I think, you know, uh, yeah, I'm still growing. I'm a teenager, so I think that will work out in the long run. Uh, so that would be my goal weight. Overall, I mean, physically, obviously, it's had a huge impact on right. you. Um, mentally and from your... Um, outlook on life and that sort of thing, how has this changed your life? Before, uh, I hate to say it, I don't know how I, uh, how I got to this point. I actually had uh, suicidal thoughts 
uh, because everyday torture, the torture of you never being normal, uh, in a social aspect as a teenager, that really hurt. Uh, and I hate to say it, I became, had thoughts of committing suicide. Uh, of course, right now I'm more confident, I'm not as backward, I'm more outgoing, and I feel that I can take on the world now and nothing is too big to accomplish. Because before, if you told me uh, a year and a half ago where I'd be today doing this news break, I would absolutely be in shock. I would not believe you. Um, and you've got goals now. You've got things right. that you want to do in the future. Right. Uh, I want to, uh, you know, of course, lose about 20 more pounds. And then this July, I hope to attend the uh, Junior Trooper Academy. Uh, at the West Virginia State Police Academy, which is uh, a week-long program where uh, young people are taught uh, law enforcement. Uh, there is physical activity involved, uh, so you have to be in pretty good shape to do it. So that's my main goal is preparing uh, to get in the great physical shape I need to be to attend that and uh, just be normal up there. Um, that, that's the other kind of leg of the stool. I mean, you've gotten the diet part now. Right. That, that it's, it's manageable and you're in control. Right. The physical activity is right. like another part of it. And, and, and I imagine it's, it, it wasn't easy for you to do that, right. but now it's a little easier for you to participate it used in those things? To, I, before, I could not do a push-up. I could not do a sit-up. I struggled in gym class. Um, running, I would have to walk that uh, distance. I would have to stop, take a breath. Uh, and uh, basically I had to, my gym teachers really looked out for me I had, because they were really concerned with my health. Nowadays I can do sit-ups, I can do push-ups, I can run, I can jog, and it's uh, a night and day difference between where I was and where I am now. Your knees and ankles feel better? My everything. knees and ankles feel, feel, uh, feel better in everything. Anything else you'd like to say uh, um, uh, about the diet, about Dr. Bales? Uh, I, I just have to say that anyone out there struggling with weight, if they say it's impossible, think again, because if I can do this, anyone can do this. And you just have to be prepared to uh, say goodbye to your old lifestyle and make uh, the lifestyle change and go on the journey, as I like to call it, uh, of changing your life. And I guarantee you, you will feel a million times better like a different person. So what's, what, what's the tipping point that makes you, you, you make that commitment? The, the tipping point in my, in my uh, aspect is I knew I had to do something. I knew that if I continued down this path, I would become diabetic, uh, possibly heart disease, uh, and it would basically shorten my life. And I did not want that. I wanted to live a long, healthy life where I would be in control and I would be able to basically be normal. And for me in middle school, uh, going through there, you know, uh, not being able to buy certain clothes and stuff like that, uh, you, you have to say, when is the time I want, I mean, when do I want that? And basically, uh, I like to say, put a target on where you want to be and just go for it.